Hey everybody, if you remember quite a while ago, there were a couple of videos I did with this game, Tower of Guns. Now I want to ask, is this game worth it? Should you spend money on it? Well, I'm going to show some gameplay and my thoughts on the game. With it coming in at $14.99, my price, US dollars, so $15 for this game. This is a randomly generated FPS roguelike. A little bit like uh, Heavy Bullets, which you probably saw last week. But this one has a lot more guns and also more vertical areas as you probably have seen before and I don't remember but, oh yeah see You go around, you kill stuff, the yellow, or not yellow, the red orbs for health, red plus sign, red and white plus sign for health as well, blue for leveling up your weapon. The highest level you can get is 6, but you need a class modifier thing, which I have the uh, baby one pacifier thing in the bottom right which makes the game easier initially you can still get an insanely high level high enemy level while this is activated but there we go the secret area found a secret there are secret areas in this where you can find a lot of stuff. Completely random what you get. If you'll even like it. You can go buy stuff for with the money you collect, the yellow uh, tokens. Each time you run into that door, it's a boss. Pretty much just shoot it until it dies. And if you can, avoid the attacks. That one, it's kind of hard to avoid, initially. Gun modifiers, okay. Hit something, automatically deploys whatever modifier it is. Unless, with this one, landmines. Whenever you actually hit something, or whenever something is inside the radius of the mine, automatically kills it pretty much. At the end of most levels, you will get a token, not token, a card thing, which is an upgrade to either your health, your weapon, like the weapon mod, or just general upgrades for damage, jumping, double jumping, pretty much upgrades. Like this, this will, whenever you kill something, it brings up the item recharge, which you can use if you have an item. Most of the time myself, I just run through the levels and try to not die until I have enough to either double jump or enough actual levels on my gun. Right now it's only five, or four. Highest I can get right now is five. You may be wondering why are you running over here? Secret area. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll just kill these.
And now it's like I never was hit over there. And your bullets will hurt you if you have explosive stuff like this. And dead. But for someone that plays FPS games and likes the roguelike idea, would you like it? Yeah, I would say yes. Uh, Heavy Bullets, which I'm gonna compare it to, does a good job as well, but you only have one weapon in Heavy Bullets, really. Unless you get a knife or a pickaxe. Otherwise, there's only your, your pistol, which has one main thing, just Heavy Bullets. This, you have, if I can read up this, you have this gun, which is the fastest, and, and as you shoot, as you shoot, it pushes you back. That way, uh, if it's level 5, for example, and you have a speed modifier on the gun, it will actually boost you higher than normal whenever you shoot. Most bosses like this have a weak spot, which you can shoot for extra damage. Unless you have something like this, which you can, cons you can consistently shoot at the bottom and have it do that. Proximity Mine. That's what it does. Whenever something goes inside of it, it's going to explode. Something other than me. As you can tell, at the end, you get extra health. Uh, kill the hug box if you feel like it, to get extra stuff. Health, more stuff for your gun to level it up. But, keep in mind, whenever you kill them, your difficulty rating will go up ever so slightly. And, what I say, this game is worth it. With how many hours I've spent in this game, yeah, I think it's definitely worth it. It's, uh, oh, what is that? Oh yeah, difficulty modifiers. That will bring the difficulty up. If it has a negative on it, like the tombstone and two negatives, it will bring the difficulty down. Same with other upgrades. If it has a minus on it, and it's for jumping, for example, it will bring your jump height down. But, eh, that's pretty much my ideas on this game. Would you guys say it's, this game is worth it? Would you buy it? I'll leave that up to you. Fight about it in the comments, maybe. I will see everybody later. Yes.